Okay, so this is going to be a video going to be based off of FET, and this is going to take molarity, the idea of concentration. We're going to kind of show what happens. We're going to use sugar, which is like Kool-Aid. I got sodium chloride and potassium dichromate. All three have different solubilities in water. And we're going to use a FET to demonstrate this, and we're going to see what happens, you know, when we boil it. We're, we're going to manipulate a lot of things, so you're going to need to take notes, and I have this thing here. Now, I don't know how this is going to turn on the real video, but I'll, I know it looks backwards from my point of view. Hopefully, it won't be like that in the video. Right big, concentration equals moles of solute over liters of solution. I'm gonna, this is like formulas are our friends. This is going to be big time. So it's moles of solute over liters of solution. We're going to be looking at this formula a lot. So have this in front of you and take notes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want you to write up top the solubility of drink mix. Okay. A real crappy move because these suck. Horrible draft pick. Not happy. We should have got CD Lamb. I'm so mad right now. I know most of you don't know who I'm talking about, but some of you that do, you know what I mean. I, I really wanted Henry Ruggs, but I guess Hire Roseman didn't have the guts to trade up. It's very disappointing. Okay. So right here, I got Kool Aid drink mix, and that's a sugar. So will it dissociate in water? No, but it's polar. It will still dissolve. So right here, I've got a half a liter of water, and here I got a concentration meter. So Right now, I'm not going to play with this. I'm not even going to, don't even worry about that. I'm just going to focus on adding more and more and taking a look at this reading. Okay. So, right now, I'm going to add a little bit. Right there, I added some Kool Aid. It has now dissolved and been surrounded by water, the solvent. Obviously, I can add more. So, right now, it is unsaturated which means there's a lot of room to accommodate more dissolving, okay? It is unsaturated. An example would be, I like sports, most of you don't, sorry. Um, so when you go to a Phillies game, they're the baseball team, you know, in Philadelphia, and the stadium holds 45,000 seats, right? Let's say you're the solute, the people, and the seats, are the uh, the solvent. So what that's like right now, it's like it's like a Monday night game against the Marlins in April. Marlins are terrible. So out of 45,000 seats, that stadium can hold all that. Only about 15,000 people showed up. There's a lot of room for more things to be so people to be surrounded by seats. So it's unsaturated. Okay. So now we're gonna add more drink mix. Watch this. So right now. Look at your equation for a second. The liters of solution is, I'm gonna zoom back. See that in the corner? This is staying the same. This value is going up because we're dissolving more stuff, but this is staying the same. So concentration goes up. The numerator, go, numerator goes up, denominator the same. This goes up. Keep going. Boy, a lot of this can dissolve. This must be very soluble in water. Ooh, there you go. That looks better to drink. What the, what the phosphorus? Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, saturated. Now, look closely. Put your eyes up near the screen. Do you see these little guys down here where my mouse is? They're the Kool-Aid things. And what happens is they're settled down there. They didn't dissolve. Why? 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 Because it's now saturated. So a saturated solution occurs when nothing else can be dissolved, and you have see what's at the bottom? Excess. Watch the mouse. Excess undissolved particles settled in the beaker or the glass. But notice how the concentration hasn't changed. And some of you may think, "Wow!" But you keep adding this stuff. Look at the word moles of solute. So my question is this. Do you see these little dots down here? What are they? That's just settled drink mix. They're not what? Solute. So therefore, this value is not changing. They have to actually dissolve to change. So this stays the same, and this stays the same. That's why your number stuck at 5.96, okay? Does that make sense so far, okay? Um, so again, reset it. Right now I've got unsaturated, and you see that going up, why? Because the dissolved solute goes up, this stays the same. Keep adding, 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 and all that kind of stuff there. Woohoo, yay. Keep 
Keep adding, keep adding. Oops. Okay, so now it's almost like the stadium is full, it's sold out, okay? So the problem is nothing more can dissolve. What can I do to get more to dissolve? Remove the solute? No, you're just removing solute. I could add more solvent. So it's almost like the ballpark now, you have 45,000 seats, you've got 45,000 people in the seats, but guess what? You have an extra 2,000 people wanting to get in. What do you gotta do? Add more seats, add more what? Water. You follow what I'm saying, okay? So again, we're not gonna do that yet. You saw that work. So right here, Kool-Aid can dissolve. Okay, now let's go to sodium chloride. Let's do another ionic compound. Oops. Stop share, hold on. See, all this stuff is in my way. I'm trying to like, okay, hold up. Oh, here we go, I just moved it, okay. Let's go to sodium chloride. Okay, let's see how soluble this is. Now, what do we know about sodium chloride? It's an ionic compound, it's gonna dissociate. Let's take a look, same idea. Let's see, so right now, saturated or unsaturated? It's unsaturated because we're increasing the moles of solute while keeping the same amount of solution. Up, 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 up. Key minus under the same conditions, same quantity of solvent, same solvent, water, same, oh. So now it dissolved all the way up to 6.15. And you notice now it's now saturated. That is not, don't, we're not even talking about super saturated today. So don't worry about that. What you see is it's like go back to the stadium again. 45,000 seats, 45,000 people. There's an extra 2,000 people. What should we do? Add more water to accommodate them. We're not gonna do that yet. Right now it's saturated. Saturated means when you see things settle, there's no more room to dissolve anymore, okay? So we can conclude here that sodium chloride is more soluble than the juice mix, the, uh, the whatever, Kool-Aid, because it's reached its saturation at 6.15 moles per liter, whereas the other one reached its saturation at 5.96. Okay, let's do something different. Let's try potassium dichromate, which is rather larger, and it will dissociate, okay? But it's a larger compound, so I, I question its solubility. Let's see what happens. Oh, and that stuff. It dissolves, but here's the thing, since it dissociates and it's larger, but oh, already 0.5, it's not as soluble. So again, it's almost like no more room. So it's now saturated once you see settling. What do we do? Just like the stadium, we're sold out. What do we do? Add more seats by adding more water, but we'll get there in a minute, I'm not worried about that. So of the three that we showed you, sodium chloride is the most soluble, Drink mix was the second, potassium dichromate was the third. So this dissociates. Sodium chloride dissociates, the drink mix does not. And again, sometimes it's not on size, it depends on how strong the polarity is. It's just many different factors that you don't need to worry about yet at this point. But the key thing is, do you understand the difference between saturated and unsaturated and how this value changes? Okay, so now, let's, get, let's go back to the Kool-Aid. Back to Kool-Aid. All right, I'm gonna stick the thing in there, the meter. And now I'm gonna stat I'm gonna make it saturated. Now I want you to look at this formula again. Now we have a, so you might wanna write in having saturated Kool-Aid. Okay, so now it's saturated and it's got subtle particles. We are not doing super saturated until next week, so don't even think about it yet. Okay, so I already mentioned this. We are sold out. We've got a bunch of other people that want a seat. So what do we do? Now watch this, let's add more what? Water, add more seats so more of these can what? Dissolve. So I'm gonna add a little bit. Predict, what do you think will happen to this? Will it go up? Will it go down? Will it stay the same? Let's add a little bit. <laughs> what the? Whoa. What, let's do a replay on that. It took a while for it to change. Put some water in there. Okay, so why didn't it change right away? So do you notice that we still have undissolved particles out here? I'll put a drop in there. 
nothing changed. Well, what's happening? This value went up, we're adding this. And guess what? If you notice down here, as we added the order, what happened? We're getting more dissolved solute. So this went up and this was the same. You understand that so far? Because like right here, this is one that we added more seats. Those are the people getting those seats. So as we're adding more seats, the number of occupied seats is increasing at the same rate. That's why the concentration is the same right at that saturated point. So let's keep adding more seats and see what happens. I think you'll know what will happen. Add more solvent, more seats. <clears throat> what happened? Now, for a while, we don't have any more people to sit in those seats. So then this thing stays the same. This value went up this became more diluted. Does that make sense? That should be a horizontal arrow. Does that make sense? So again, keep adding. We're adding more seats and no people. We're adding more solvent and no solute. That's why it's weakening, okay? Now, let's reset, let's uh, reset it. Okay, let me make sure I got this. I actually wrote this stuff down to make sure I hit every point that I wanted to hit. Okay, now we're gonna work on boiling it. I'm gonna hit reset. I'm gonna get this to saturate it again. Five point nine six. Okay, so right now it's saturated. So now I'm gonna remove solute. This is mimicking. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm gonna evaporate, which is gonna mimic boiling. So we're gonna add a heat source. And when we talk about it, this is a mixture, physical change. So evaporation, we're gonna, when we evaporate, we're going to remove solvent, but the drink mix will stay in the beaker. So let's see what happens when we evaporate it. It's saturated right now, let's see. The phosphorus. Dude, this is my own house. Can I say what I wanna say? Can I say the words I want to say? This is my house. I'll say whatever I want to say. What the? F <laughs> Still on video, I guess. It ain't changing. What the hell are you, man? So what's happening? Take your equation out. Let's take a look. Let's take a look here. So this must be staying the same. So obviously we're losing solution. But if, but if this stayed the same, God, that's annoying. If this stayed the same, excuse me, if this stayed the same, this would go down. So here's the thing. Do you notice down here more, like we're removing seats. So there's more and more people, right, without a seat. So think of it this way, let's reset it again. Let's go to the stadium example again. Let's make a sellout crowd, okay? So let's take the stadium capacity and you know what, let's start it at 40,000 people. Okay, let's say it's a sell at 40,000. Let's use a nice easy number. So right now there's 40,000 shares, but I got 45,000 people. Okay, let's take out some chairs. Are we taking out the people? No, you're just gonna have more people standing. So let's say I do this. Oh, dude, I am a dumbass to team. Oh my gosh, let's get this saturated again. Okay, so let's, let's take the seats out. So now watch this, I'm taking away chairs. What do you notice right down here? More and more undissolved particles. But whatever, but it's still a sellout crowd. So let's say I went from 40,000 chairs and 45,000 people. How many people are occupying chairs now? Let's say it's 30,000 seats, 30,000 particles sitting on them. See the difference? The rate stays the same. Let's drop the seats down to 20,000. How many people have a seat now? 20,000. The rate stays the same, but the difference is we have more settled particles. Let's drop the amount of solvent down to 10, oops, sorry, 10,000. How many particles 
or people are sitting in the seats, 10,000, the rate is still the same. But now we got more and more unsettled stuff, excuse me, settled out stuff down there. So again, you understand how as this goes down, this, whoops, this goes down at the same rate, making this value the same, okay? All right, let's erase this. Now watch this. What if I do this? Last one. Let's make it an unsaturated solution. Let's say I've got 10,000 seats, 10,000 uh, units of water. And let's say I've got like 5,000 people. What if I start to take away some seats? What if I take away solvent, but there's still, but nobody here is without a seat? Start boiling it. I just took away some seats. What's happening? What's happening? This is decreasing. Do you follow what I'm saying? This is staying the same. Because the same amount of people are dissolved. We're just taking away seats. Take away more seats. So we're getting rid of solvent, right? And nothing about the, the solute still dissolved at the same rate. So we're strengthening this by taking away solvent, but by keeping the solute in there. Oh, now it's saturated. Now we had, we took away all, most, a lot of the seats, and now we have some guys without a seat. So this is one thing that way to strengthen it. Does that make sense? So here, until we had saturation, our solute was the same. We kept taking this away. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? But now, as we do this, we keep taking seats away. Eventually, nobody's going to have a seat. And look what happens. You start to see more and more people without a seat. Watch what happens. There's your sugar. Okay, see what happens right there? Okay, so that's that. So now what I want you to do over the weekend is review the polarity video again. Watch this, and you're going to be doing some calculations. And you should be familiar with saturated, unsaturated. Um, next week, we're going to get into super saturated and uh, gases. We're going to talk about ways to change solubility by increasing temperature and all that kind of stuff. This is really good. I hope you paid attention to this. This is actually a very helpful video. All right, that's it. Keep working.